Hello students, I'm Anusha, your teacher for English and today we are going to study present tense which is a topic for class 7. Hello students, how are you all? I hope all of you are healthy and happy. So today we are going to study about tenses and specifically present tense using the textbook My English Folder for class 7. So we use tenses to talk about the time the action took place. And the present tense uh, talks about the actions that are taking, uh, taking place in the present time. So the first that we have is the simple present tense. It is used to express a habitual action, to express universal truths, to express future events that are part of fixed timetable or fixed program. First, let's see the structure of simple present sentences. So to use the simple present tense, we need to use directly the root form of the verb for I, you, they and we. So for example, if the verb is walk, you will directly use it for I, you, they and we. And for he, she, it or the third person, you will add S to the verb and then use it in the sentence. Like for example, he walks on the road. And for the verbs ending in Y, you will remove the Y and add I-E-S to the word. And again, it will only be for the third person. Let's see two more verbs in the simple present tense. So for the verb B-E, uh, we have I am, you are, he, she, it is, they are and we are. And then we have the verb has or have. So with I, you, we and they, we will use have. And with he, she, it, we will use has. Let's see in which cases we will use the simple present tense. So first is to express habitual actions. Like for example, I brush my teeth every day. Then I usually wake up at 7 a.m. I like to watch TV on weekends. So all these sentences express something that you do habitually. So for this, we will use the simple present tense. Then next we have, it is also used to express universal truths. Okay, so the things that are uh, true for uh, the entire group of people. Okay, so for, like for example, the first one, earth rotates on its axis. Sun rises in the east and sets in the west. Rivers freeze in winters. So all of these are things that are universally true. So all of these are expressed using the simple present tense. Then lastly, we have to express a future event that is part of a fixed timetable or a fixed program. Okay, so like for example, the movie starts at 5 p.m. or the train arrives at 8 a.m. So this action is supposed to happen in the future, but it is part of a fixed timetable. So we use the simple present tense to express these kind of sentences. Now, next we have the present continuous tense. So this is used for talking about things that are happening now or are in progress in general. And sometimes it is also used for actions that will happen in future. Okay, so before seeing how they are used, we will see the structure of the sentences. So the structure is subject plus is am are based on uh, just like how we see it, saw in the simple present tense, then verb plus ing form. Like for example, if the verb is walk, so it will become walking, talking, writing, speaking. Okay, so subject plus is am are plus verb plus ing form. Okay, so let's see in which cases we use the present continuous tense. So first it is used for actions that are in progress either at the present moment of time or in general. So like for example, I am studying tenses. I am eating. I am writing a letter to my mother. So all these actions are in progress at the uh, present moment of time. Okay. Then we have I am taking dance classes. So this is an action which might not be in progress at the current moment of time, but you are doing it in general. You are doing it regularly. Okay. So also for these actions, we will use the present continuous tense. Then lastly, it is also used for actions that are going to happen in coming future. 
okay so like for example i am going for a road trip tomorrow i am attending a music concert tonight they are participating in the singing competition okay so these actions are again not happening in the present moment of time but they are going to happen in future so for these also we use the present continuous tense i hope these two tenses are clear to you thank you